Hi there, welcome to Flooring and Dreams. This is my decluttering series for 2024. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. This video is going to be one out of five different declutters that I have for you this year to clear out my makeup collection. And I know that everybody just likes to have a nosy around, so there's that as well. If you're looking for swatches, I swatched out most of my makeup collection in February, so I'll make sure to link you to those videos down below so that you can have a peek. I have reviews up with most of these products over on the blog, or either here on the channel. So there's lots of other content that you can find where you can find, um, like if you're interested in looking these up. I will also have some links in the description box in case you are interested in purchasing in any, uh, any of these products if they are still around, because I am part of an affiliate link program and I do have an affiliate link uh, for most of these products as well. Um, just to be fully transparent here. The reason why I'm keeping the same intro around is because I always need to get a couple of things out of the way before I show you my makeup collection and before I film declutters. A, uh, please know that just because I'm decluttering my makeup collection doesn't mean you have to. I will try to rehome as many products as possible, especially if they're still really good condition. If I've only used them once or twice, they're definitely going to go to friends and family. Um, I've had, I have a bunch of colleagues who are looking for makeup apparently. So that's where most of it is going to go probably. However, I also get rid of things because they are old or because formulas have sep separated or whatever. So there are also going to be a lot of things that I simply cannot pass on to people because it's just gotten to that point where I'm like, mm, I've used this a lot. I've been into that with my finger a lot. Or if it's like a product, like a lip product with a doe foot applicator, I don't necessarily feel comfortable passing that on to anyone. Please also know that just because I declutter something and it's not my favorite, that doesn't mean that it cannot be yours. I also want you to bear in mind that I do film regular content on this channel and that I have been a makeup reviewer for years. So there are a lot of products that I get to review that I kind of know in advance might not work for me. I know sometimes people feel like, why do you keep buying products by brand X, Y, Z? Because all you do is declutter them again. I buy things to review. And that does mean that I sometimes will hang on to things because I want to keep it around to be able to film content with it. But it also means that I sometimes get rid of things because if I've bought an entire shade range of lipsticks, um, those aren't necessarily all going to be perfect for me, but I will keep around the one or two shades that worked for me really, really well. And those are the things that end up going into my actual makeup collection. It's just a great way to, you know, have an overview again and clear out my makeup collection and just have it be ready for the new year. And for those people who might be new here, then it may be good to know who you're actually watching. My name is Micah. I live in the Netherlands. I have fair skin with a cool to neutral undertone, and I have been making content for a very, very long time. My content is mainly focused around eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice, but I also really enjoy getting the use out of my makeup. So I do like to do series where I go back to older products, where, you know, I shop my stash and not only focus on the new, new, new. So if that's something you're interested in, then I hope you'd like to consider subscribing. Welcome to part four of my makeup decluttering series for 2024. This is going to be all things lips. And I'm going to be talking you through this. Um, there are, are of course going to be some things I'm not going to be decluttering. So I'm just going to kick you thing, going to kick you off with that. None of my Lisa Elbridge lipsticks in the bullet format are going to go. These are the Luxurious Lucents, the Insanely Saturated and the Velvet or the True Velvets. I have all of the shades. They're not going anywhere. Number two, number three, right here. We have number four, which has some gaps because I was wearing some of them in my Shop My Stash. So let's talk about these bits for my Shop My Stash. I wore one of the Melt and Shines, one of the Kiko ones, and then um, my lip balm for my Shop My Stash. And then these I need to keep separate because I was wearing them. And then I have my Lisa Eldridge ones. Uh, I was wearing Velvet Muse, Velvet Ribbon, and Velvet Jazz. Three classics that I reach for all the time. Uh, and the Kiko one in 315. So these are not going anywhere because I have been wearing them. 
Um, but I'm also not going to get rid of anything that's lying on top because these are things I still need to film with. However, I'm going to keep them separately because I know I won't be reaching for all of these. I'm still missing one shade of the Shine Bombs from Catrice before I can film my video. And I'm still missing two shades of the Melt and Shines. Um, I hope by the time this video goes up I have them and you will have seen those videos But at this point in time, there's no way to tell and I haven't been able to swatch all of the shades yet To determine which ones I might want to keep and which are gonna go And then I have this cubby and in this cubby there are some newer things from Essence in here That again, I need to film a review uh, with before I can declutter them But everything else that's here I bought for reviews and they are either not my shades or I didn't like the formula. So most of what's in here in this little basket is just gonna go. So let me talk you through it real quickly so that we have a good enough idea. We have um, all, of the, all of the shades from the Gloss and Glow that were my favorite. I like the other two, those are in my collection, but these, two, these three I don't need to keep. Um, these max it up. Uh, products from Catrice I didn't need to keep either. These swirly lip glosses from Makeup Revolution that everybody was calling out like, oh, these are so amazing. I didn't like them. I prefer the Catrice ones. I think I have one of these in my makeup collection that I like the shade of again. So these I'm going to declutter because those were not my shades. Uh, these are new from Catrice. These heart-shaped things. Where did I put them? I have a third one somewhere, not uh, here. Um, and these I liked. I didn't love shade one, which is a bit too peachy for me, but I did enjoy these other two shades. This is a really nice bright fuchsia. And then this berry, these are really pretty. I would like to put these in my shop, my stash or in my collection. Then I have a couple of these lip oils from Essence. I like the Catrice ones better, and there is another uh, Essence lip oil in here that I like better than these the new ones. So these can go. Then I have three of the Heart Affair limited edition lipsticks from Catrice. I like the Bright Fuchsia. This is Heart Hearts On. So I'd like to keep this because I like the shade. But zero 02, yeah, zero 02 was a nice like rosy neutral. Might like that as well. And then there was just a matte red. This was a really nice formula. I really did enjoy it. So maybe I'm gonna keep all three of these, but once we get to my drugstore lipsticks, which are actually in this cubby, I'm gonna have to like compare it. This is nice. This I wanna put with my lip balms, which we'll talk about next. Another one of the Max It Ups, another one of the Max It Ups. Um, and then we just have some Kruidvat things in here. These weren't impressive at all. So these can go. This is that lip oil from uh, Essence that I did like. This was thrown as a freebie, as a gift with purchase into my order. I didn't order this myself, but I do like it. And then there are these new uh, Meta Glow lip glosses from Essence. And these are really pretty. They are very sparkly though, but they have a really nice formula and they can really transform whatever you put it on top of it. So if you like wear a nude lip and then you put one of these on top, it's gonna look really stunning. This one looks a bit like purpley in some lighting, but it actually has a really nice peachy pink glow. Very stunning. These two are a little bit more subtle, you could say. These two are a bit more intense, but I do wanna keep those. Then I have one of the eight hour mats again this was put into an order i didn't order this myself it was a gift with purchase getting rid of that because i'm pretty much decluttered that entire range this i still need to film with so so again um these are the new essence um the slim stick lipsticks i was very impressed with these in swatches but i haven't even put these on my lips yet because I just haven't had a chance because these are just out. And then I have two new lip liners from Essence, so I'm going to put these with my collection as well. Briefly talk about lip balm then. Uh, I have a couple of the lip jams from Catrice. These smell really strongly. And I think that's, that's why people like them. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh, they are very nourishing and hydrating, but I don't really need to keep these. I would use this because it's not as strongly scented. 
This is a lipstick that is round with a nice smooth top from Essence, uh, from uh, Catrice actually, and I've just kept it around so I can very easily repress shadows. Uh, this one can go. I got this as a freebie with uh, an order on Yes Style. One of those like color changing things. I don't need to keep that. And then I just have Carmax because I forgot lip balm one day and I bought this. So I don't have that many. Like usually I have so much lip balm, but I've really been good at like using it up and getting rid of the things I don't use. So these I'm, I'm going to have to do like a little lip balm restock because this, yeah, this is not a lot of lip balm and I'm almost out of my nighttime lip balm for sure. So this needs a, I need to stock up on things. And that brings me to cubby number one. We're going to get started with the bottom here. Uh, this is my cubby where I keep all of my drugstore lipstick. So this is old drugstore. This is lip liner. I have one lonely Florosis lipstick in here and I'm going to put this, it's really stunning packaging. I'm going to put this one with my uh, makeup memory box because of the stunning packaging. Florosis was kind enough to send me some PR in 2023. The shades weren't necessarily my vibe, but it's a very, very pretty thing indeed. And this way, if I ever want to place my own order from the brand, um, I will have one of the lipstick cases because a lot of their lipsticks are sold as re like refillable things like this. Um, I'm also going to be decluttering this one from Catrice, the Intense Matte Lip Liner. Really pretty, but I don't need to keep it around because it's too similar to other things. In here, I have two Lisa Eldridge lip liners, not going anywhere. Love them. I also have, these are Catrice. These are from, at least I bought them just now, this year. So these are quite new to me. So this is going to go in where the Essence ones come in as well. Slightly different shades. Um, I have some Kiko ones, these creamy color ones. I swear, they're made in the same factory as Lisa Eldridge. They look and feel exactly the same. Just saying. So those are going to stay. I'm also going to be keeping my other Kiko lipsticks, uh, lip liners. These are the Everlasting Color ones. These are really pretty. These are twist up. And then I have my Divine Rose one from Pat McGrath. Um, I have the matching lipstick, as you'll see in a minute. And I have the matching lipstick to the Wicon Intense Lip Pencil. So I like those. These from Melt were uh, gifts from a friend. I have lipsticks that kind of go with this and I do want to keep the bright pink because I don't have any bright pink lip liners but the other two I'm going to get rid of mainly because these just don't look the best anymore so that's why I'm going to be decluttering these two they're also not shades of lipstick I tend to wear a lot so this way I have a nice little cubby here um, these are organizers from Ikea by the way I just keep them on top of my vanity and this way, I need to turn this over so I know what I'm grabbing for. Um, this way I have everything in one go. So nice little spot for lip liner right there. Then in here, I know I can get rid of some of these. I like these Milani Fetish lipsticks very much, so that's going to stay. I love the Wicon. This is like a perfect mauve tone. It's so pretty, and it goes with the lip liner that I have from the brand. Love this Peri Para Mood lipstick. It's a really pretty cool tone brown. I, I don't have anything else like this in my makeup collection. By the way, if you want to see swatches of all of this, I swatched my entire makeup collection in April, so you can see that for sure. This uh, Stilo, it's the Unlimited Stilo from Kiko. This is a really pretty mauve tone, but I have too many mauve toned lipsticks, so this is a maybe, because I do really enjoy the formula. This Smooth Whip from NYX is going to go. I didn't like the formula. This one I love from Mina. Um, this Essence one is so ruined, like it's so broken and dinky and smudgy and I don't want to use it for that reason, so this can go. Uh, um, another Kiko one, this is the Jelly Stilo and this is in a really interesting shade. So that's why I want to keep that. I decided to buy a bunch of Kiko lipsticks to try all, the, all their formulas last year. So that's why I have so many. Then I have the Tinted Kiss from Essence, which can go because I'm not going to be using that anytime soon. This can go as well. The um, Moonshot 
Rêve à Paris. Um, I like it, but I have other shades like it that I like better. This from Kiko, this is from a limited edition collection, the Stellar Love collection. And this shade is just too brown and warm and orange and weird on me. So uh, the formula is good, like it enough, but it didn't quite work. And these have expired. So these were the plump it up from Catrice that I wanted to keep around. But like you can just see, like, I'm not sure if you can see, but this has changed color. They're very weird and gloopy and thick. So those need to just leave my collection for sure. Um, and then I think I do want to keep this Kiko thing. I do, I, I do think I want to keep that. Okay, so now that section is decluttered, but that means we now have more in here. And here again, I need to get rid of some things. I'm not going to get rid of, even though they're ruined, uh, the red I have from Catrice from the Ultimate Color line. Um, I once had an accident with lipsticks getting stuck in my old, old organizer, which is why they look like this. Um, this is Topless in Love. I don't have shades like it from the drugstore. This, it's such a good cool tone pink, which is why I keep it around, but I don't really wear it. I do really enjoy the formula. If I wear this formula, I wear this. This is the Power Plumping Gel Lipstick in Speak Up. Used one of these up in the past. This is essentially Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but in a creamy formula from the drugstore, and I like this better. I have another one of those in backup because I loved it that much. Then this uh, Peri Para Ink Airy Stick can go. I do like the formula, but again, I have other K-Beauty things I like better. I'm going to get rid of this H&M thing because this is brown and I don't wear a lot of brown. And if I were to wear a brown, I would wear the taupe from Catrice or the thing from Kiko I just showed you. And then this is such a good bright lipstick. I should just repurchase this. This is the reason why all of my lipsticks got stuck in my old organizer. Uh, but this is a really good bright pink lipstick. But if I wear a bright pink lipstick nowadays, I tend to reach for Lisa Eldridge Velvet Carnival, one of the Gucci things that is still coming up, or I'm wearing the sheer things from Milani and Mina that I'm wearing, that I have. So this is again a maybe. These are by Florasis. These are the refills the way they come if you buy it without the fancy packaging. This is too brown, but very pretty. And this is far too orange, but very pretty as well. Like the packaging is stunning on these. Um, I, I swatched them, but that's all I did with them. Uh, I saw the shades and I was like, ugh, that's not gonna work on my complexion. But I'm gonna keep one because it has the ornate um, packaging, you could say. In here, I've got a black one. This is by Kiko, it's their Velvet Passion. I don't need a black lipstick. Besides, I already have another one that I'm not gonna get rid of, so I can get rid of that. This bright red, it's a dupe for Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Ribbon, in case you were wondering. It's the shade, I can't read it, 312? Shade Cherry, but Kiko has changed a lot of their lines, so I'm not sure if that's still the same. And then I also have Burgundy. I don't reach for deep shades like this unless it's like Velvet Midnight from Lisa Eldridge. So this can go because I don't reach for it. And then I have a 3CE lipstick here again. I have a separate section where I keep all of my K-Beauty lip stains and this thing is just old. So this can go. This was like my first foray into like K-Beauty lip things. And then I have just nothing but Catrice left. <laughs> And here I remember swatching these and liking all the shades. Um, I'm definitely not getting rid of the Scandalous Matte in 080 Casually Overdressed. This is so pretty. It's really unique from the drugstore. If you do want a high-end version, I feel that New Way from Lisa Eldridge is essentially the same shade, but Catrice do it as well. These are also made in Italy, like the Lisa Eldridge stuff. Uh, I have a Demi Matte in Pink Addiction. Now this isn't bright enough of a pink for me because this is like a warmer fuchsia, um, but I did like this a lot when it came out. So that's again a maybe. Uh, the Vegan Collagen Matte in 040. This is such a good neutral, but have I used it recently? No, because if I go for a neutral, I go for Lisa Eldridge. I don't reach for these. Um, oh, this is nice as well. This is Redefine Love in the Demi Matte line from Catrice. A little bit deeper, not as classic, but still really pretty. Um, Scandalous Matte in 060. This is Good Intentions. 
and this is such a nice mauve tone as well. This is really, really pretty. Um, but I like how this one is a bit more brown. Like, this is a bit more nude. And the other one is a little bit more pink. So I think I can keep both because they're different enough. I also really enjoy this Shine Balm one in Secret Crush. This has a bit more of a shiny texture. So I do want to keep that too. I just love Catrice. Like, Catrice is my favorite drugstore lipstick line for sure. Then I have 070 Go Bold or Go Home. And I need to put it up against this one. The, because they seem the same, don't they? I feel this has a little bit more coral to it, like a bit more orange, and this is a bit more pink. Um, but I really enjoy the Scandalous Matte Formula. So, and this is the Demi Matte Formula. So this is a bit older. I like both. I'm gonna keep both. Who am I? And then I just have the Scandalous Matte in the red. Really nice. I think this is called Blame the Night. Yes. And I also have another Scandalous Matte here in 050, Sucker for Love. And this is a rosy tone, which I don't normally go for. Uh, and this I need to, yeah. So this is the one from the Heart Affair collection. Oh, that's more pink. This is a bit more rosy. So I can keep both. It's, it's not, well, in the grander scheme of things, it's not that unique, of course. So let me put everything back in here and then we can see how much I got rid of because this pile is growing exponentially as we're speaking. I do think I want to keep both of these. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do want to keep these. And I do have to apologize because I realized after filming my entire lip swatch th shenanigans for my lipstick collection um, that I have forgotten to show you these. <laughs> um, so I forgot to include them because I keep them in their little boxes. These are by Kaleidos. They are the Cloud Play Lip Clays, and these are a really stunning formula. Uh, I have the more, like, the crazier shades in here. I've got a black, a dark purple, and a teal shade, and this is a very cool-toned grayish purple. Um, I have a lip swatch video with these up, so I can link that in the description box down below. Then these are the reds. Um, so these are all reddish tones, very deep to a little bit brighter, lighter. This is more of like a hot fuchsia. In terms of like a liquid lipstick, these are like the things I like to wear the most. And then here we have a full set that I actually didn't do with any of the other ones. Like you can you can buy this these tins and then select yourself what shades need to go in. But this was part of the Smoky Nostalgia collection and these are all like really nice neutrally shades. They're a bit brown for my liking, but they are really nice. Let's do high-end lipsticks next, because I think that's a, a good way to go. So I have culled this like quite a bit last year, so I'm not really sure how much I'm going to get rid of here, because there isn't much that I would like to get rid of, I don't think. So here we have uh, Glossier and a lip tint from Victoria Beckham. Um, these are the Ultra Lips. This is in the shade Vesper. These are going to stay. I have my Trini London thing, but I keep two things here in the back, which are by Melt. Um, and this is like a true, true purple, which is really pretty, but it's got a lot of bloom. Um, part of me wants to try this just to have fun. Uh, but this shade can just go because this is like a pinky coral. I don't look good in pinky coral lipstick. So this can go. These go with some of the lip liners that I decluttered as well. So that is there. Um, I would like this to go somewhere else. So if I have space in my lip tint collection in a second, then these things may have to go with my lip tints because I like these three. So I also have a Rare Beauty Lip Oil in the shade Wonder and a Fenty Beauty Lip Stain. Um, but I have a whole section with just lip stains and I know I need to get rid of some things there. These are all of my MAC lipsticks and I reorganized these when I did my lip swatch thing. So I have my favorites at the front. I have Red Carp, no, Russian Red Twig and here we have Verve, yeah, Verve. So like my two favorite nudes and my favorite red. And then here I have 
What else do I have? I have a Morange. I've got Impassioned, like some brighter things. I've got Lady Danger still in here. But I'm thinking maybe Lady Danger can go, because this is really old. And I have Velvet Morning by Lisa Eldridge. This still smells like vanilla, though, so it's it doesn't have to go. Just saying. I've got Rebel, which I still like. Oh, Candy Yum Yum. This is a shade I wouldn't wear anymore. It's too bright. If I go for a bright pink, I go for those things from Catrice, which have a bit more depth to them. Here we have Impassioned. And then I just have my two Powder Kiss ones. And this one is New York Apple, which is a frost, uh, which I haven't used much, but you know, it's fine. So this way I have all of my MAC things in one spot. So I'm happy with that. And then we have this little section. I have some Victoria Beckham here. Th these are all Gucci. I've got some of my uh, Urban Decay ones in the back. And then I have these things. I have decided that this is going to go into a makeup memory box. This is Rhubarb from Bite. And this is still good. I can still wear this. You can see how much I've used it. But this is also very expired. I just know it is, um, but it's such a good staple and Buy Beauty as a brand is no longer around and this was always my favorite. So I'm going to put these in a this in a makeup memory box for sure. And then the one I'm going to declutter is this thing here. This is from Lise Wache. I got this years ago in a makeup swap, but this is a little bit too matte for me nowadays. It's like that matte that really has like that powdery texture. Don't love that. And then here we have my Pat McGrath lipstick that goes with the lip liner I just showed you. So this is really pretty. Um, the Gucci ones aren't going anywhere, but these Urban Decay lipsticks. And I've got another one here. And I have another one of the Melt ones. So I have Melt here in a bright fuchsia pink with glitter. So this can go because it's not a shade I wear. And then I have 69, which is your great classic raspberry red. I love this thing. Would like to keep that. Um, I also would like to keep Gash, because this is a brown toned red that I don't see anybody else doing just yet. And again, these are super old. I have Firebird, which I still love till this day. I don't wear these a lot anymore, but hey. And then I just have Menace. And I'm going to get rid of Menace because it's too similar to other pinks I already have. So that's why I'm getting rid of that. That's an easy declutter. The Gucci things are not gonna go, but my aim was uh, after I declutter everything that I can move these up and I have some more space for the Victoria Beckham. Um, I have found out that, let me see, where did it go? Yeah, those are the cooler tone things. I have found that a lot of what I have from Charlotte Tilbury is just incredibly similar to one another. I know my favorite nude by the brand is Very Victoria. This is the, the nude I've worn the most. So this one I'm going to keep. And then I have my favorite red from the brand, which is Red Carpet Red. So those two I'm going to definitely keep. I think I can declutter, no, not this one. Where did I put it? Here, this one. This is Secret Selma, and this is like the only cool to tone thing that Charlotte Tilbury does, but I feel I have better mauve tones in my collection, even from something as uh, like D uh, the Gucci and also the Victoria Beckham ones. Those are better than this is, so that can go. Um, and then I have Bond Girl glowing gen and wedding bells and these come in the special packaging so that gives them a bit of a leg up you could say but these are essentially like the way they swatch on my skin tone these are all essentially the same thing it's like a deeper version of pillow talk bond girl i've had for a very long time and it has a bit of a red to it which is what i've always enjoyed but I like the packaging of the other two. It's just a bit crazy. Mm, so I definitely don't need to keep all of these. 
maybe get rid of Bond Girl because it's the oldest. That could be that could be a way to do it. And then I just have these two left. Like wedding bells is like pillow talk essentially. Like I don't feel it's that dissimilar, but I like the packaging there. And then this is glowing gen, which is a slightly deeper nude for me. And I still have this as well from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Love Liberty, which is a berry. I'm, I'm just really over berry lipstick, I find. So that is an easy declutter. I think I'm going to keep Bond Girl for now. I can't say goodbye to it just yet. Not yet. And that is all of my high-end lipsticks. Um, because I just use the Lisa Eldridge thing so much, I don't use these as much as I used to. And in terms of like nudes and stuff, I have been much more into lip oil and lip gloss as well. But as you can see, we have too much. So we need to get rid of some things. Uh, here we have the bottom drawer, which is essentially liquid lipsticks and lip oils. And in the lip, lip oil category, love these, not going anywhere. Love this, not going anywhere. This is by R.E.M. Beauty. And then I just have my Dior and my lip glow oil from uh, House Labs as well. This can go. And then I would like to put this guy in, if at all possible. So I'm not sure if that's gonna fit because it is a little bit big, of course. Like it's a bit tall. fine. We're good. I'm happy with that. So that's the lip oil section sorted, you could say. Not getting rid of any of the velveteens. I'm still missing one shade. When I get my hands on vel uh, the velveteen and fawn, I can do a video for you. That's the idea. I have some fluorosis here. Like with the lipsticks, these shades are not my shades. They were sent to me in PR. Very kindly gifted. Super duper great formula for sure but not something that I can get away with. Here is the other Essence 8 hour uh, matte lipstick, but I don't wear liquid lipstick unless it's like the Lisa Eldridge things anymore. These I wanna keep because these things are all like crazier shades that I don't have much of in my bullet lipstick. So the Kat Von D and the Anastasia are gonna stay, but I'm going to get rid of my Maybelline Vinyl Ink. I don't like this formula. I just kept a shade around to have a shade. Oh, I have one more Lisa Eldridge that has rolled to the back. And then I just have a liquid lipstick from uh, Alter Ego, which was sent to me in PR as well, not my shade. And then I have the NYX This Is Milky Gloss, which is also a formula I did not love. So that's why those can go. And then I can put these, I hope they can go, yes, they can go sideways. And then I can put all of my, can I do that? Or is that gonna be too tall? For sure. Oh, and I still have my liquid lipsticks, of course, from Catrice. So I can put one of them here. And then I still have the bright fuchsia, but oh, it's perhaps a bit big. Mmm. Whichever way I put it, it's never ideal. Like I always have to have like the double layer, which I don't. I'm not a fan of double layers. So then we have lip gloss. Uh, this is a balm from Glossier. Love that. Um, my Tower 28, I've got two of these. Where's the other one? Where did the other one go? Oh, here. Um, these two are my favorite formula, so these are not gonna go. I love the Rare Beauty one. Love this Catrice one. I, have a, I used one up, have another one in backup. Um, but I do feel it's too similar to this, the Marblicious. Um, so I don't need to keep this around, even though this is more balmy feeling, but I like the lifting nude better for a gloss. So that can go, and I'll keep the red in from the Marblicious, because uh, I don't have a lot of colorful glosses, as you'll see. The Victoria Beckham Posh Gloss is really nice. Wayne Gloss as well, but I have too many things that do the same thing. These Kaleidos ones are really pretty. have yet to use them on my lips. I've got a clear gloss, but that needs to be dead, like relegated to the back of the drawer. Fenty Beauty, which I love. And then I do like these Charlotte Tilbury glosses as well. These are the collagen lip baths, but I'll keep the Pillow Talk one and get rid of the Walk of No Shame because essentially I don't use them in any other way. And then I have my Lisa Eldridge ones and I'm going to declutter these. I don't like this formula. As much as I like Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, I have not been able to make these glosses work on my lips. So I like the shades. 
I just don't like the formula. I find it very drying on my lips for some reason. So if you have any tips on how I can make these work, please let me know. But these are starting to shift as well. So they're a bit old. Of the Kiko ones, I'm going to get rid of this orange tone and I'm going to be keeping these two. This is a really lovely gloss formula, the Kiko one, and I'm going to keep the mauve shade and this lavender top and everything. And then here we have Zoeva, another top and everything. Love that one for a bit of shimmer, but I'm going to declutter both, both of these Catrice ones because they are just not my kind of formula. I have other things from Catrice I like better by now. Um, so let me see how this is going to go when I put everything back in. Um, this is a balm, a lip balm, um, but it's a tinted lip balm. So I should just put this in my shop, my stash, I think. That might be an idea to put this in my shop, my stash with my regular used products. And welcome to the final part of this declutter. I am filming this later though, because as I was checking the footage, I found out that the entire bit of the declutter that I had filmed with all of my K-Beauty lip stains somehow wasn't saved, which is a bit unfortunate, which is why today I'm coming on here to show you what I actually culled from my K-Beauty lip stains and what I decided to keep. And then I'll give you the roundup of all of the numbers of the lip products that I um, got rid of because that part was also missing for some reason. Um, um, so I'm not sure what happened there. I think my battery cut out and I just kept talking thinking it was recording when it wasn't. I think that must have must have been happening. Um, if you want to see swatches for all of these and exactly what's in these drawers, then uh, I would like to uh, refer you to my lipstick video that I did in February. Um, because there I show you all the shades I have, including the ones I'm getting rid of. And um, yeah, I will uh, show you all of that. So the things I'm keeping are the Amuse Dew Tints, which are right here at the front. You can see them right here. I'm also keeping um, the Romand, I think this is the Milky Velvet Tint. Yeah, the Milk Tea Velvet Tint and the Zero Velvet Tint, because I really like those. And then I still had my Rare Beauty, Fenty Beauty, and Victoria Beckham lip stains. And this way all the lip stains go together, which I like. And then I have a bunch of things from Romand, and I actually wore one of them as well in my shop, my stash this month. So this is the uh, Glasting Water Tint. Focuses? There we go. So here we have the Glasting Water Tint in Vintage Ocean, which I'm keeping. And then I just have a bunch of the Lasting Water Tints here, and also a couple of the Blur Fudge Tints. These have another name again. These are the Dewy Full Water Tints. That's these three. These are the Blur Fudge Tints, and these are the lasting water tints, the other round ones that are here in the back. Those are some of my favorite formulas, which is why they go front and center. And then in the bottom drawer, which you can't really see, so let me lower the camera a little bit. So in this bottom drawer, I just have a Peri Para one. This is a Clio one. This is Fui, um, Lily by Red, and I have another uh, Clio one. And then I just have my ink velvets from Peri Para down to bottom. So I have shades 37, 34, 33, 32, and 31. And this is an ink airy velvet in shade 25, which is a really pretty peach. And then I just kept three of these like very liquidy, watery tints. So these are essentially really liquidy. And I don't, like they're not my favorite, but I kept the ones I like best. So I have one from the face shop. One from Etude, and this one, the shade is really cool, and it's called something like Dracula something, which the name already, like, intrigues me as well. And I can't get rid of a Dear Darling tin that looks like an ice cream, and this was also, when I swatched them and when I reviewed them, I felt those were my favorite ones in this style of lip tint. Which brings me to what's in this little container here, because these are all of the things that are Bay K Beauty brands that I'm decluttering because I can't keep everything. And if I'm trying so many things, um, because that's something I did in 2023, I went out, like I went looking for the best, my favorite lip tint kind of formulas, found some, got those in other shades. And that means I don't have to keep everything. So I have another one of the Dear Darling tints. This is the Water Juicy one uh, from Etude. This was lovely, but it, it bled a little bit in the swatches. This one from the same had a weird scent and I didn't love the formula. 
This one from Peri Para is pretty. It's their Mood Ink, I think. I, it doesn't have the actual name of the product on. It was from a limited edition collection, but this was a bit too bright of a pink for me. So I didn't love that. As much as I love the Amuse dewy tints, the velvet one, the more matte version, wasn't my favorite. This felt quite drying on the lips, so I didn't love that. Um, from Romand, I did get rid of some of the juicy lasting tints. This is in Dark Coconut, which is just not my shade. Um, I also have this 3CE lipstick. This may have come up in another part of this declutter, I don't remember. Um, but this is a lipstick I've had for a while, and I just feel I have other shades like this by other brands that I wear more often. And then I have the Jelly Plumping Water Tint. This is by... is this by MAC Queen? I think this is by McQueen, McQueen, whatever they're called. Um, and this is a lovely product, but again, it bled a little too much out of my lip line, which I don't love. This is definitely by McQueen. Um, again, I love these like little vials. They look really cute, but this one bled as well. A product I've had for way too long is this Ink Airy Stick from Peri Para. It's really pretty. It's in shade eight. Um, but again, I have these like softer, rosy, reds in so many other formulas. I am getting rid of one of my Ink Airy Velvets because this pink shade is a bit too warm toned for my liking. And then I had a couple that just weren't really my shades or I didn't love the formula. The formula of the Wake Make wasn't anything special, so getting rid of that for that reason. The same thing for the 3CE. I think this was like something like their blur tint or something. I didn't love that one, especially not for how expensive it is. The Etude House Fixing Tint wasn't my favorite either. And then I have the first one of the Roman Juicy Lasting Tints I bought, which is in Peeling Engdu. You can read the shade name right there. And this wasn't really my shade either. So if we then look at everything I'm getting rid of, let me put that front and center. So in this little box, I put all of the lip products that I'm decluttering. So that's really convenient. In total, there are over 55 lip products in here from balms and lip stains and regular lipsticks, like everything few and far in between. I will not be passing any of my lip products on to other people because I've A, used them on my lips already. And if it's got a doe foot, you can't really um, like sanitize it anyway. So I don't feel safe passing these on to other people. But yeah, it was worth a try to try all these K-Beauty things, for instance. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video today. Thumbs it up if you liked it. I have one more declutter coming your way, which will be eyeshadow palettes. So I hope you're, stay you're staying tuned for that one. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.